Oh, oh. I've been like that wide in a long time. <laughs> Good morning everyone, I've been moored here at Brindley Bank Aqueduct for two whole weeks and that allowed me to go to a festival and also to get all the work done on my crouch cover which now has windows which is absolutely amazing for little Bonnie to look out and watch the world go by. But today we're going to move on, I need to get to Rugeley to get some supplies and then we're hopefully going to then head towards Hansacre. So that's the plan, I'll just show you on the map. So I'm currently here, I'm just going to do a short cruise, stock up on supplies, maybe stay a day or so, and then cruise all the way down over the page, along here, and stay here. I've heard there's loads of really nice walks around here. Bonnie, you're going to stay here, yeah, whilst Mummy goes cruising. And look at this, guys. This, Melissa made it. It's a little bandana, a little pirate bandana. Made by Melitza. Are you going to be alright, Bonnie? Are you going to stay with this? It's only a short cruise. I won't be long. <laughs> See you later. See you later. <laughs> So it's two whole months since I rescued little Bonnie and she's doing absolutely fantastic. We just need to work on her reactivity and her social skills, but she's getting there. But it won't be long before she's out on the boat with me cruising on the roof. I love looking at everybody's gardens when I'm cruising along. Some of them are really quirky with their ideas, some of them are very pretty and beautiful, and some of them are just plain bonkers. <laughs> but that's what I love the best about cruising along. You just never know every day what you're gonna see. So I'm just coming in now to the main town and hopefully I can find somewhere to moor up just for a couple of days because I need to stock up on all my supplies. So that's it, I've made it. This is Rugeley Town. This is a great little mooring because it's convenient for all the shops, the post office. There's also a petrol garage and I need some petrol for my generator. And I tend to use my generator really for when I'm doing my washing machine. Not doing it, you know what I mean. When I've got my washing machine on. You're rude. But it's great just for a couple of days. It's quite shaded so I won't get much power. But for a couple of days it's perfect. So whilst I'm in the town, I might as well go and have a good look round, hadn't I? The thing is, in towns, you've got all the noises and things. I don't like being in towns. And it's dark, dark because of all the buildings and the trees. But they've got loads of shops. And I want to do a little bit of shopping, get some supplies in, and then I can move again to another lovely place in the middle of nowhere. So back in the olden days, Rugeley was famous for its iron workings and glass manufacture, but now it's just a normal quirky town, serving people with burgers, clothes, shopping, food, a bit of betting shops, a few vape shops, a barber's. But it is quite quirky, it's quite pretty. So it's a nice little place. We've done quite a bit of shopping. So yeah, I'm happy.
Hey, I tell you what, what you can't get in Rusley ain't worth getting. Yeah, it was brilliant. The weather's crap, it's peeing down now. We've had a crap summer here in the UK. What has your weather been like? Yeah, I think we've had probably a week or two weeks of lovely sunshine and the rest of it's been very rather moist. So just as I was getting back to the boat, soaking wet, a lovely couple, Julie and Carl, stopped by to give some treats to little Bonnie. So we've got some new treats to try, Bonnie. Do you want to give them a try? Do you want to give them a try? Yeah. Here we go. Here's your paw. Paw. Yeah, there you go, baby. Is it nice? Yeah, was that a nice one? So because the weather's been absolutely crap today and I'm currently moored under trees, yeah, I'm gagging for a brew and I normally use my Tassimo machine, but because I've not had much power going into the batteries, that's not an option. And the other thing I do is every day I normally make a big cafetiere using this, but the downside about using these, which are brilliant, is the a bugger to clean out. They're an absolute mess to clean out, especially when you live on the canal. So I recently got hold of one of these. It's a Star Resso little coffee machine. So basically when you've got no power, you either grind your beans by hand, use filter coffee, or you can actually with these use pods. But I like to use my own coffee. Yeah, because I like it strong. And then you put your coffee into the machine. You just screw it in. And then you just need to pour in hot water and give it a few pumps. Now every morning I boil a big kettle of water and make my own brew then and then I put the rest in the flask and that's for coffees throughout the day or for washing up, things like that. And then basically you just keep pumping it. But if you had friends around for a coffee you wouldn't do it this way because you couldn't make three or four coffees like this. But for you on your own just making a little mono brew it's just great. Oh, and it does make a nice little creamy one. Brew, coffee. Mm, knackered. <laughs> and then when it goes sort of really easy at the top and goes quite limp, then you've got then a nice cup, nice brew. And then you could tip this then into a proper cup, but I'm not doing that. I'm not going to create more washing up. No, but it makes a really nice smooth one and I don't have milk so it's just, it's just lovely. Mmm, oh, that is gorgeous but it does need a rum in it. So we're going to be setting off very, very shortly. I just need to go to the garage, get some petrol from a generator and then we'll be setting off. It's usually has been amazing. You can get everything here. It's just got every type of shop imaginable. One of the downsides is though, I'm moored under all these trees and my boat gets covered in tree jizz. Yeah, it's all sticky. Ah. Do you remember when I was cruising with Nikki? This is Nikki's mop. Yeah, I borrowed it one day and then we both parted ways, both going in different directions. And I've still got it. Yeah, it's every time I mop my solar panels, I go, thanks Nick. Every boater needs an outside mop for cleaning your solar panels and mopping up bird poo. Thanks Nick. But there is something else I want to do before we leave and that is to check out a grave in this graveyard because apparently Christina Collins, the woman from Brindley Bank Aqueduct, she's buried in there so we'll go and pay our respects. So if you watched my video a couple of weeks ago, I told the story about the gruesome rape and murder at Brindley Bank Aqueduct back in 1839, where a young woman called Christina Collins was on her way to London, but never made it. So here it is, it's quite old, and it says, to the memory of Christina Collins, wife of Robert Collins from London, who having been most barbarously treated, was found dead in the canal in this parish on June the 17th, 1839, aged 37 years. Wow. I just thought I'd have to come and find it. Yeah, see, the canals aren't all nice and tranquil. Things do go on. And that was two boaters that raped and murdered her. Yeah, not good. So just before we set off cruising today, I need to top up my jerry can of petrol for my generator because it's not very easy to pick up petrol when on the canals. 
but there's a petrol garage right next to the canal here at Rugeley. So it's had to happen sooner or later. We've got little Bonnie on the roof. I've tied her on and I'm just going to practice now because I've got no locks to see how well she does. We'll see. If she starts trying to move about and stuff, I'll be putting her inside. But for now, if she stays there and she's happy, then it'll all be good. Just a quick shout out to Stuart and Carol on Narrowboat Foxy Doxy for becoming supporters of the channel via Patreon. Thank you so much. It's just so good to be out in the sunshine. It's awful when you're more under trees, it really is. Yeah, proper dark and gloomy. And I think I'm overdressed now. It's quite warm in the sun. My goodness, so, so busy today then. Oh. oh. Oh, I don't like this. It stresses me out when it's so narrow and shallow and busy. Anything else coming round the corner to surprise me, make me day? <laughs> so apparently there's a water point at Bridge 62, so we'll be stopping there to fill up with water. Yeah, so Bonnie's doing really well at the moment. I have got her tied on, but that's because I'm just really worried because she still does launch for dogs and stuff. <laughs> Well, at least now she can't fall off the boat and that's the main thing but yeah it had to happen sometime we had to get her on here sometime and today was a perfect opportunity because i'm not doing any locks or anything and it's not too warm it's not raining at the moment so this is such a good way for bonnie to see everything all these ducks and all these geese and birds. I mean, she's getting really good with ducks now, but she still does, if they're on the land, she still does try and chase them. But she does sit and watch them from the boat, which is fabulous. Yeah, it's just because, you know, she's just so inquisitive. She's such a very intelligent, inquisitive little girl. Gorgeous. So we're just filling up with water now and Bonnie did fantastic. So I'm made up because that's be the way she's going to travel from now on, I think. Depends though, if it's too hot or if it's raining, I won't put her on there. She hates the rain. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, which is fantastic. And that boat over there, they're another roving trader. They have a business on their boat where they make stainless steel chimneys. They make all the chimneys as well, but they're famous for their stainless steel ones. They're fantastic. They're all handmade to fit each different chimney hole. Yeah, don't be rude. Yeah, but they've got a really good reputation. Some of the best chimneys on the court. My goodness, it's narrowboat Will. Filthy thumbs up. So we're about to go through this very narrow cutting. It used to be a tunnel, but they took the roof off it years ago. So now it's just a very narrow channel. So you just have to hope nothing's coming. Oh, yeah, so fingers crossed. So the roof was actually removed in 1971. However, there is still a long bridge towards the end where it goes dark and dingy. So normally if you've got crew, you'd send a crew member up ahead just to check nothing's coming. But I haven't got crew and I've not seen anybody walking this way. So I presume it's all clear. I hope so anyway. thing is with these tunnels you get covered in spider poo Ooh. see it all hanging there so that was Bonnie's first tunnel yeah you're great good girl oh, she's so good So I'm now looking for somewhere to moor up and I'm really proud of Bonnie's first cruise on the roof. She's been absolutely fantastic, haven't you? So this building we're coming up to now, this factory, it's famous because it makes loads of toilets. Yeah, it's called Armitage. All those nice porcelain toilets. So I bet this was a really busy place back in the olden days when the boats were used for carrying all the toilets. <laughs> so there's some other trading friends of mine here and they sell all homemade chutneys and jams. So I've just moored up here now in Hans Acre and it's quite a nice little mooring here and with my friends Melissa and John there's a little pub up the way and there's a fish and chip shop as well but this will do for a few days if it was sunny I would be getting sun on my solar panels but unfortunately our summer at the moment is absolutely rubbish but this will do now for a few days So I'm having some extra eyelets put in my front today so Bonnie can't push underneath and get out. She sees a big dog. Bonnie's helping, aren't you Bonnie? My fingers. So once all the eyelets were fitted, it was time to go on an adventure and explore the area. This is one of the best things I love about boat life. Look at the leg over Bonnie. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hello, gorgeous. Hey, hello, sheepies. We've never seen a sheepies before. 
Hey? Oh, good girl, Bonnie. Good girl. So me and Melissa have come dogging today. We're having a little bit of an adventure. We've gone through fields of sheep and everything. And Bonnie's been fantastic. Really proud of her. And we're following an ordnance survey map. Yes, yeah, so we might get a bit lost. The arrow is where the GPS is. That's where we are now. So we're just going to follow that and then come back around to the canal. Oh, she's so clever. Eee. Your leg over, Melissa. Not as fit as I used to be, aren't I? We're really bad. Not my leg that wide in a long time. <laughs> I love a proper adventure. And um, let's keep checking the map to make sure that we're on the right path. Yeah, I'm just checking, I've got this battery to get us home. Oh, heck! <laughs> I'm really low on battery. See, oh, that's no. the downside. <laughs> Little Bonnie are back in now after our adventure with little Chico and Melissa. Oh, having little Bonnie, she really has changed my life because she forces me every day to go on new adventures, find loads of things to do, and just go exploring, don't we? We're proper pirating. Anyway, I'm going to pour a massive rum now and take you in that rear entrance. I feel like a bit of this tonight, Casio Black Spiced. So just before we go and read the ditty, I just want to say a massive thank you to this week's pirate crew. Thank you so much for everything you do. It means the world. Look at that, eh? Look at that shot glass. Woohoo! Are you comfy now? Are you comfy now you've got a cushion? So I've brought you now in the rear entrance and we're just going to wet the lips. Yeah, look at this though. I love these glasses. They've actually got, I don't know if you can see that, but they've actually got a tiny little nipple on them. <laughs> yeah, so just wet the lips. You ready? Cheers. Woo. Mm. I always like it when we come to an end of a video and we can have a nice big shot together. Love it. Right. So here's a ditty, and can I just say a massive thank you to all those that sent in ditties this week. Got loads of them, and I've saved them all, and I'll keep reading them out over the next few weeks, but do keep sending them in. And this one's from Narrow Minded Jason, and it goes a little something like this. I've just come across Heidi on YouTube, I mean. I must say her channel is the best thing I've seen. She's one of many lasses living life on the canals, going up and down in locks and thrusting her bows. How rude. Narrow boating is very popular with a lot of solo girls who like to ride a long one and handle its length well. Heidi likes to wet her lips and collects bottles of rum. People come from miles around just to give her one. A rum? What else can I say about Heidi? that can't be misconstrued and if you see her coming through a lock give her a hand don't be rude <laughs> oh that's brilliant so thank you so much for that so if you have enjoyed this video please do give it a big thumbs up it really helps subscribe down below if you haven't already it's free to do yeah and just a massive thank you to my patrons thank you for everything you do it really does help anyway guys that's it so please stay safe take care and I'll see you next week. <laughs>